Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Bobby. I'm here today with my first unboxing. I wanted to start dealing with this new brand that I saw through a Facebook ad called Crooks and Castles. They had a $165 mystery box and I just wanted to, you know, pick it up. So, I'm just going to start this off with the first item on top, which is this nice little gray hoodie. Shit. I think it's a spade, I'm pretty sure. And it has two rifles, honestly. I would have rather them done like ARs or like AKs, but I mean, it's their design, it's their brand, it's their choice. The second item we have right here is actually a duffel bag. So, the mystery box promised three t- or, um, my bad, five t-shirts, three hoodies, one duffel bag, and one mystery item. And this is the duffel bag. Anything in it. <laughs> nope, nothing in it. Just an empty crooks and castles duffel bag, as you can see. Yeah. Not a huge fan of it, but it is a nice item. Sorry about that, guys. Um, next item in our mystery box is a t-shirt. Let me just open it up. Try to open it up safely because these are resellable tags. And yeah, I kind of want to keep them safe for future use. But I got. CC for Crooks and Castles. Has a nice little rose print on it. I kind of like that, honestly. I wish it was completely, uh, like, cut with black and red all the way around. Instead of it just being straight red on the back. But, I mean, it's a nice tee altogether. You're not really going to be paying attention to the back that much. Yeah, that's a really nice tee, honestly. I fuck with that. Next thing we got here is a hoodie. Another hoodie. God, I love hoodies. It's cold outside right now, and ugh. Hoodies are a must. Ooh. It's a solid black with a Crooks and Castles on the front. I don't necessarily like the logo that much. I mean, it's dope. I saw the red design of this one. And let me tell you, this design is so much better. The black colorway, so much better. But on the back, nothing. But we can rock with it, you know? Let's just go ahead and pull this out. Next up, we got... It's just a uh, Crooks and Castles box logo, I guess. Nothing on the back. Little plain. I mean, you could rock it under like a Carhartt or something, you know? A little inside shirt, I guess. Okay. So we have went through, I think, Five of our items. Here's another t shirt. It's a blue. Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I like that. It's kind of icy. Has a grenade on it, Crooks and Castles. 
Um, I'm not a huge blue guy, but like this shit rocks, yo. Nice little grenade on it. That shit. That shit's nice, yo. Nothing on the back. Honestly, guys, I love hoodies and shirts with the back logos on them, too. They are harder to come across. Sometimes they are more expensive. But, I mean, it is what it is. Let's get that hoodie out of there. Here, let's open another tea. This is a white tea. Oh. The material on it is like a ribbony material. Like a ribbon? Weird. <clears throat> oh, shit. This is a long sleeve. Okay, I fuck with that. I need more long sleeves. Has crooks and castles on the sleeve. On that one. I think it has something else on this sleeve over here. No, nothing on that sleeve. Nothing on the back. But let's get down to the front logo. And it's a crooks and castles plain logo, honestly, with rose print again. Which, honestly, I like rose print. Shit goes hard. Shit goes hard. Another t-shirt. I don't really rock yellow shirts that much they're not my type i don't really like the design of the shirt either it's kind of ugly but yeah nothing on the back um it's rocking with not a rose print but like a uh so fuck okay it's not like a rose print but it's like a just like a flower print, as you can see. Like a tulip, I guess. But yeah, that's a that's a nice little piece. Ooh, we are down to our last item, which is a hoodie. And it's pink. So what do we got here? We got crooks and castles. On the front left. That'd be right if you were looking at me. For me, it's my left. Um, any sleevage shit going on? Uh, nope, no sleevage shit. But on the back, we have a, a grenade, lo like a grenade logo type design. Honestly, it reminds me of the can of Chef Boyardee's. Is it? So, it? Or something. It reminds me of some logo, like tomato soup or something. I don't, ramen? I don't know. But yeah, I like it. It's a, uh, it's, it's not the best colorway for purple or purple, pink, but I mean, it works surprisingly. But yeah, guys, um, that's the whole mystery box, as you can see. I spent a total of $165. They said I would be getting, I believe, $300 to $350 worth of stuff. I was promised three hoodies, five t-shirts, a duffel bag, and one mystery item. I received three hoodies, Five t-shirts, a duffel bag, but no mystery item. So I will be contacting them about that. I want my mystery item. I mean, it's what I paid for. But if y'all enjoyed the video, please just give it a big thumbs up. Please comment your thoughts on it. Like, I need feedback, like honest feedback. Like, yeah, thumbs up and dislikes or like somewhat feedback. But it's not like detailed feedback. Like, I need y'all to like... 
write your responses to my videos in the comments. But yeah, also, if y'all can, just subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and tune in for next time. Peace.